Troubleshooting a CT scan involves identifying and addressing issues that may arise during the imaging process. Here are some common troubleshooting steps. Scanner malfunctions. If the CT scanner itself is malfunctioning, the first step is to check the system for error messages or alerts. Many modern CT scanners have built-in diagnostic tools that can help identify specific issues. Image artifacts. Artifacts in CT images can result from various sources, including patient motion, metal objects, or equipment malfunctions. To troubleshoot artifacts, the technologist may adjust patient positioning, use motion correction techniques, or inspect and maintain the scanner components. Contrast injection issues. If contrast is used during the scan, issues with the contrast injector system may arise. This could include problems with the injection rate, air bubbles in the contrast syringe, or issues with the tubing. Technologists need to ensure proper functioning of the contrast delivery system. Image quality problems. Poor image quality may be due to factors such as inadequate exposure, improper reconstruction parameters, or calibration issues. Technologists may need to adjust scan parameters, check calibration settings, or consult with the radiologist to optimize image quality. Patient-related issues. Patient cooperation is crucial for obtaining high-quality CT images. Troubleshooting patient-related issues involves addressing factors such as motion artifacts, poor breath holding, or discomfort. Clear communication with the patient and proper preparation can help mitigate these issues. Data reconstruction problems. If there are issues with image reconstruction, such as incomplete data or reconstruction errors, technologists may need to review the scan parameters, check for software updates, or consult with the CT system manufacturer's support. Radiation dose, management, monitoring and managing radiation dose are critical aspects of CT scanning. Technologists need to follow established protocols to optimize image quality while minimizing radiation exposure to the patient. Regular quality assurance checks can help ensure proper dose levels. Equipment maintenance. Regular maintenance of the CT scanner is essential to prevent malfunctions. This includes checking and calibrating the system components, inspecting the gantry and table for mechanical issues, and ensuring that all safety features are functional. Software and hardware updates. Keeping the CT scanner software and hardware up to date is important for optimal performance. Regularly updating the system with the latest software patches and firmware releases provided by the manufacturer can address potential bugs or improve functionality. In case of persistent issues or those beyond the scope of routine troubleshooting, the facility may need to involve the CT system manufacturer's technical support or a qualified service engineer to diagnose and address the problem. Additionally, ongoing training and education for technologists can contribute to effective troubleshooting and maintenance of CT systems. However, it is important to remember that while CT scans provide valuable diagnostic information, they also expose the patient to ionizing radiation. Therefore, their use is typically justified when the benefits of the information obtained outweigh the potential risks associated with radiation exposure. Always consult with a healthcare professional for personalized medical advice and recommendations. CT scans are a powerful diagnostic tool. From detecting tumors and abnormalities, evaluating bone and joint conditions, assessing trauma and injuries, examining blood vessels, diagnosing lung conditions, studying abdominal and pelvic organs, evaluating the brain, to guiding biopsy and interventional procedures, Connecticut scans are truly indispensable in the field of medicine. Despite the potential risks associated with radiation exposure, the benefits they provide in diagnosing and treating various conditions is undeniable. What is difference between MRI and CT scan? CT scans take a fast series of X-ray pictures which are put together to create images of the area that was scanned. An MRI uses strong magnetic fields 
to take pictures of the inside of the body. CT scans are usually the first choice for imaging. MRIs are useful for certain diseases that a CT scan cannot detect. Why are CT scans so expensive? The high cost of a CT scan at hospitals can be attributed to several factors including the technical fee, professional fee and facility fee. CT machinery and the construction of dedicated rooms for the machines are expensive. Additionally, the expertise of the technologists interpreting the images adds to the cost.